What's up guys, Michael here, coming to you with another video. This time we're gonna be opening and talking about the specs of 2019 Kindle Fire 9th generation, so the latest one. Um, I just bought it. Um, we'll talk about different kind of specs, we'll just try to open it, get it started, see what it's running. So let's let's get started here. So we'll just start with unpacking this. Um, so I bought this one, this is the cheapest version. Uh, it comes with 16 gigs of storage. Now you can buy also a 32 gigs of storage version. Um, and so let's have a look, first of all, let's have a look at the box. So there's a couple of details to mention about this device. So it comes with four colors, so black, plum, sage and twilight blue. Uh, in terms of specs, let's have a look. So the display, it's a seven inch display, ISP display uh, with a 1024 by 600 uh, resolution, which gives you 171 pixels per inch. Um, so that's quite decent. We'll see if we can see the pixels later on. It also has a polarizing filter, so that's quite helpful. Um, with the glares uh, outside. Um, now, it also can have a micro SD, so up to 512 gigs of micro SD, assuming that it's um, FAT32 compatible uh, card, so it has to format it probably. And uh, then it comes with a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, dual band Wi Fi, so that's super handy. And then front and rear cameras. Now the rear camera is 2 megapixel and it allows you to have a 720p uh, video. So um, not too bad for a really cheap tablet. Um, yeah, let's let's try to get a look and see what's what's in the box. So it's kind of nicely packed. So let's see what do we have. So we kind of pull like a strap here and it so that's a tablet. Let's have a look what else is hiding there. So that's it. The box is empty. Rubbish. Um, so we have this tiny kind of box. Try to open it up. So, so this comes with a standard uh, uh, USB and micro USB uh, connector see that yeah so everyone has those cables so no worries easy to charge now in terms of charging and battery so this device would be having a battery 2980 milliampere hour um, so it can get fully charged in four hours apparently and it can hold battery for up to eight hours of reading browsing So not now of course it depends on the usage but they say eight hours so now let's have a look now the brick itself so power adapter that's uh, five watts power adapter um, yeah that looks, looks good decent now let's have a look at the device so I believe this is the top top up here and we can see so power button charging slot, I'd imagine microphone, three and a half mil jack, so that's really appreciated. And then two buttons, uh, volume up, down. So that's perfect. Now on the side we have, I'm not sure this would be probably a slot for a card. Yeah, perfect. So we can see a slot for a micro SD card. Now again, that's quite handy from 16 gigs, you can very cheaply extended to 520 or 512 gigs max. Now something to mention that uh, even though it's 16 gigs but really available for the user it's only 9.4 and if you're getting a 32 gigs uh, storage one that would allow you to have 30 uh, sorry 23 and a half gigs of available storage at your disposal. Now let's go so we have a top side the right side would have the micro SD, nothing there, it's quite smooth. Uh, now, 
bottom side nothing here as well then I'd imagine a speaker on the side so there's only one speaker and that's it it feels quite quite nice in the touch even though it's all plastic it's quite grippy um, it's quite solid as well like it's it, it doesn't like band or anything like that it's, it's well made like uh, for that price I'd expect exactly that nothing more probably and now we have the front camera up here and directly in the middle and at the back we have that 2 megapixel camera with a nice Amazon logo and some details up here not sure what's there some kind of serial number probably model number and things like that Okay, so let's try to power it on and see what happens here. Now this is the first boot up. So what else can we talk about? So in terms of processor, like we mentioned, 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, one gigs of RAM, not a lot, but also for that price, I wouldn't be expecting much more, to be honest. Now, in terms of weight, it, it's it's feeling nice and, and light in the hand, not too heavy, not too light either. Uh, it's 286 grams uh, of a weight, so that's nice. Uh, and that's it. Let's have a look. Now. Yes, so you, when you're purchasing the device, you have few options. So you can choose the color, you can choose the storage, and also you can choose whether you'd um, like to have the special offers, which would be some advertising, I'd imagine, at some space on the screen or without special advertising. And now that would get you set up um, a little bit higher, so the price would bump up. Now the screen. I already see a slight lag after pressing it takes a second to actually respond but all right let's have a look so choose your region okay. so now it's gonna get me to connect to my wi-fi let me just get that password very quick Okay, we got the password in, let's go next, that's connected, and now it's setting up, now so far it's fairly simple, okay, so straight away there is some kind of an update that it does, but it's fairly quick, I thought it would be like reinstalling the whole operating system, but that's fairly quick, so we're just going to wait for that to happen. Okay, boom, so now register your fire, so for now, so it seems that you'd have to, there's no way to skip that and you have to enter your Amazon account. Um, yeah, okay, let me enter that. Okay, I've just entered the password and credentials for my Amazon account. So that's moving forward. Let's have a look what's next. Now the screen's nice, actually the glare, really that polarizing filter makes a difference and it's really, really nice. Now what's new? So, um, so it mentioning that there is some kind of an update awaiting for me, uh, but we're gonna skip now and just update later. So we have few options here, so we can enable GPS, so it has a GPS module, which is great. It also has an accelerometer, so probably it could be handy for games when you just have to uh, move the screen and just play. Um, I'd imagine that's mainly for kids. Auto save photos and videos, so that's going to upload it to the cloud if you like. I'm not interested in that. I will enable GPS and then save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. Let's say I'm happy with that, so let's continue. Each your Fire tablet discovers Alexa hands-free and more, so it has a built-in Alexa. Let's have a look how, how does it be.
family's attention. Alexa, what's the weather? Alright, I think we're good with that, so basically you just use the voice recognition and use Alexa to wake it up. So that looks sweet. Now in terms of the screen, I have to say that uh, the pixels are slightly visible. It's not something really, really bad, uh, but yeah, it's not not the HD quality the PPIs are simply too low not to see those those pixels now it's not that bothering I have to say so I think it's a, it's a fairly good experience okay so the next screen make this fire chunks friendly your fire allows you to create a personalized experience for each child including custom home screens preference so you can create a child profile which I imagine most of the people would buy this for um, Personally, it's mainly for me, so I'm just not gonna do it. Um, but let's let's create a child profile just quickly. So we're gonna call Bob. Bob was born. I'm not sure. that in okay so we have myself and Bob <laughs> okay we can add more children okay but for now we're good with that so now set the screen lock so some sort of a theme one three Okay, so we can also connect it to Goodreads. Obviously that would require, oh, it is a free service. So this is probably for reviews, um, get recommendations. So that's quite handy. We'll just connect to existing one. So you could probably log in with your Goodreads credentials. I'm just gonna skip on that one. Kindle Unlimited, so you could again try with um, Kindle Unlimited subscription. Uh, which is eight pounds per month it's just at the bottom um, and 30 days free trial no thank you for now so it's quite a lot of different screens <laughs> okay it's already trying to recommend me some books based on my recommendations or previous reads but well, I'm not interested just now okay so we can download some free apps so you can actually select some apps from this screen and it's gonna start downloading those so for now I'm just gonna skip on that but we can see we can download Facebook Instagram that's cool and some games but for now I'm just gonna skip from that too okay so there's another tutorial uh, there's quite a lot of stuff okay home page will display all the quick views content pages continue switching content pages so yes so this is typical Amazon experience okay so they've created this tablet so it gives you this kind of an Amazon feel and, and and it pushes you basically to, to use their services and their content and purchase their stuff okay navigation bar so these bars are very similar to a typical Android experience where you basically go to all the apps in the background, go to the main home screen and go back. Okay, we should finish that and finally... Okay, nice. So I could call it Alexa and open certain apps. That's nice, but we just want to get to the main screen. Okay, Amazon Music another service that Amazon wants us to get signed up for as my card not now so I'm just gonna skip on this uh, it is quite frustrating I just don't want to go through all this stuff just now again it's trying to push me for unlimited service for 
free 30 day trial so I could later on pay a subscription. And I'm kind of stuck on this Amazon music. Go back, Alexa is hands free. Enable Alexa, let's see. Alexa, what's the weather? Free finish okay so that's it we're on the main screen let's have a look at the top time zone undated sweet dictionary update available so that's that so now we can see that um, we have home books videos games shop apps music audibles news standards that's it Let's have a look quickly how do we get to some settings. So we have a couple of apps here. We have camera app. Let's have a look at the quality of that camera. Allow camera access to GPS, yeah. Our location, apologies. Let's have a look. Okay, the camera is not fast. HDR, we can switch and read, and we can swap the camera. Okay. okay, we can zoom it in, and it goes to photos. Now, in terms of the speed, it's not the fastest experience when you're used to the latest phones like Samsung S10 or devices with a much bigger power in terms of processing power okay so here from the left side you can actually slide and change between video and camera okay it's not too bad now it, it's quite dark here so I'd imagine generally cheap cameras work quite badly in dark area so it would be good to test it outdoor during the day now resolution and quality we can bump it up also 1.9 megapixel that's what we can get max front camera the same video HD 720p that's the max we can get advanced manual exposure okay so we can actually manually about that okay that's that's about it we'll go back now just quickly we'll just go to check if there are any settings that we can open So we could see what kind of operating system we're running here but this may not be okay so we have a few options here so we have Vodafone uh, we have Bluetooth airplane mode do not disturb Alexa low power mode I guess it's kind of, it's kind of a saver blue shades so kind of like warmer colors and let's go to settings what this device is running out of the box so we can see battery 67% that's out of the box so they come pre-charged mm. no we're not interested in that device options about fire tablet so this is device model fire 7 9th generation in number 7 number but it doesn't tell us the version so this is the fire os 6.3.1.2 and it's downloading in the background a new version so this is out of the box and you'd have to update it afterwards now so far so good we'd have to play and see how that works I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have one. What are your feelings? 
um, what do you mainly use it for I hope you've enjoyed that video if you have any comments post them down below and um, also I'd appreciate subscribing and liking this channel thumbs down down or up whichever you prefer